Hi, I'm Nolan with Top Choice Lawn Care, and today we're going to talk about two things. One, what is oak wilt and how to avoid it? And two, since we know this, what do we do when we're trimming our trees? How do we trim our trees appropriately? So we're going to talk specifically about live oak trees, which are an extraordinarily important part of the Central Texas landscape because they are common, beautiful, resilient, and last a really long time. In fact, the Treaty Oak downtown has lived for probably around 500 years at this point, so way longer than the United States of America. And if trees are gonna last that long, we wanna make sure we're taking care of them because they're beautiful um, and an important part of our landscape. So one, oak wilt. What is this? Why should we care? It's a common enemy of the oak tree and can damage or kill them. So what is oak wilt? Oak wilt is a fungal disease that is spread either via roots, when roots are interlocked via oak tree, like different oak trees are connected when they're close to each other, or through a tiny beetle when it touches and, and works on a infected tree and then travels to and transmits to a healthy tree. This is the one that we can prevent, okay? This is the one that we wanna think about and work to stop because there's not much we can do about the root systems. If you have an oak tree that is infected, that's a different situation. We can talk about that on a different video. Right now we're trying to stop uh, transmission of oak wilt. So now that we know what oak wilt is and how it is transmitted, how do we trim our trees in order to successfully help them grow and make sure that they're healthy? So how do you trim your oak trees? There are several things you wanna think about. One is timing. We say the best time to trim your trees is on July 1st or shortly thereafter. Why is that? It's because oak trees, excuse me, oak wilt is most commonly transmitted in the spring and early summer. That's when the beetles are most active. So if the beetles are most active then, we wait till they are not active in the heat of the summer and we trim our trees, or specifically our oak trees at that point. Two. You want to make sure you use really clean, sharp tools. A dull tool, I mean, we know this from cooking, is not effective and can damage the tree and cause wounds that will cause disease in your tree. Three, clean, clean tools. So what we do is we use um, a disinfectant every time we travel from property to property and you spray down your tools to make sure that if for some reason there is something that is a disease on that tool that you didn't see at the last property, you have cleaned it off. Three, when you trim a tree, you want to, even if you're doing it at the right time of year, seal that wound. You wanna make sure we use a special tree sealant that covers the wound so that it is a lot less likely if something was to come along to be able to be infected. Um, you wanna make sure that you don't take off too much of the canopy. We say about 25%. You don't want to remove more than 25% of the canopy because that will cause undue stress to the tree. Uh, you want to remove dead or broken branches or crossing branches. These are places that disease commonly enters a tree. Um, we find that raising the canopies consistently is actually a very healthy thing for the tree. It's, uh, if, the, if it's carrying too much weight, the tree starts to um, bend down in a way that's not very healthy. And if you can take off some of the lower, heavier branches, it allows it to stand up straighter and grows into a more beautiful, longer lasting tree because the weight is less likely to cause a break on that branch if it was to have heavy wind or some sort of weather event. So these are all things you can think about when you're looking at your live oaks. One you need to make sure to understand what oak wilt is and how to prevent it. And then two, if you're gonna trim your trees or have someone trim your trees, make sure that they're using the proper techniques and uh, doing it at the right time of year. We would love to help you with your tree trimming needs if you have them, but uh, otherwise we just wanna help you out. So feel free to call us or text us, email us, whatever's best for you and we'd love to see what we can do to help you and your people out.